Shadowfen Law, Part 1 A mother's nursery rhyme. Do you have five children, mother? I've heard that you do. Five children? No, tonight I have four. Four children, sweet and pure. Four and no more. Do you have four children, mother? I've heard that you do. Four children? No, tonight I have three. Three children, a bed late today. Three and no more. Do you have three children, mother? I've heard that you do. Three children? No. Tonight, I have two. Two children, quiet and shy. Two, and no more. Do you have two children, mother? I've heard that you do. Two children? No. Tonight, I have one. One child singing a song. One, and no more. Do you have one child, mother? I've heard that you do. One child? Please. I have none. They're with their father now, and live here no more. A shallow pool is all I ask. Water, a roof, mist, and shadow. Leaves lifting towards the sky. Gentle rain is all I need. Cloak of night, warmth, and rain. Murmur in the dark. A shallow pool is all I want. Memories held. Old stories told, surrounded by children, who call me their is Dust's shadow. All she saw was the glint and rumor in a straight, sharp line flashing into the man beside her. He groaned and slipped to his knees, falling sideways onto the ground. By the eight, Lomingo whispered in horror. A scared hand clamped across her mouth, preventing her from saying anything. A voice rasped softly. A soft cloud of ash filled the air, wondering why the assassin hadn't killed her, too. When the dust settled, Lominda realized she was alone. Only the smear of blood on the floor beside her indicated where her companion had fallen. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, Lominda looked around, carefully, alone. She lifted her unbound hands to her face and prayed. Kind. My goddess and guide, I thank you for saving me from the lizard folk, she said softly. You must return them to their master. And for that, you must pay. Lominga felt the blade slipping through her flesh before she saw the Argonian rise beside her. Her mouth moved soundlessly, and her hands clutched where the weapon had pierced her throat. I had no proof you were involved, woman, the Argonian said wiping her blade on Lominga's shirt before sheathing it. Thanks for admitting your guilt before I left. This journey would have been inconvenient for another shadow scale to take so soon. As Lominga sank to the floor, a shadow scale assassin added, We're all part of the pact now, except the traitors, like you. And then the assassin, like Lominga's life, was gone. Fair Argonian maiden, come, my lad, let us speak. Come, fair maid, let us talk. Scale to scale, tip to tail, fair maiden, mist maiden, and sap fringed lad. Freedom's price. Gold exchanged hands, marking the deal complete, makes many waves belonged to a new master. Sandrasa Lewis watched as her newest acquisition joined the group she'd already purchased. She'd stared so long at Mate's many waves that she drew the Argonian's eyes to her. They both looked away quickly, almost instantly. Eye contact between master and slave would be punished by ten lashes. The distance between the market and the house was no more than seven miles, but it seemed an eternity to Sandrasa. She'd counted the years impatiently until she could set up her own household and brings makes many ways home. Then the rest of the field house, Sandrasa said. The footman assisted her from the horse. I want that one. She waved hands toward a many makes waves, brought to my sitting room. She will be my personal assistant. As you wish, ma'am. 
pulling her gloves off as she strode into her home, Sindras laughed. Finally, yes, it will be exactly as I wish. How long since she'd felt her lover's lips pressed against hers, shared in a desperate, guilty caress whenever they could steal away together. How she'd suffered once their intimacy became known, as though, Sandrasa thought bitterly, seeing her beloved soul through the ancients hadn't been punishment enough. I'm passed with dreadly slowness from that moment until Sandrasa finally located the next wave and brought her back. This time, no one could separate them. They belonged together. The door opened, and makes many waves stepped forward, eyes downcast becomingly. Sandrasa walked past her, shut, and locked the door, and then turned. I've missed you, she said softly. In a moment, they were locked in a passionate embrace. Sandrasa, touching them, makes many waves, gales, gently, searching me. Did they, did they torture you, darling? I swear they'll pay. Makes many waves, shook her head, her frilled spine spluttering. Seeing you heals me well. But Archie, you're safe. Those traitors won't touch you again, Sandrasa said. Listen, my love, makes many waves said. Your parents paid the Archians very, very well. Their eyes are everywhere. They'll know you bought me, and they'll come for me. I'll free you, Sandrasa replied. You'll be safe. It's not like that, the Argonian whispered. The Archians don't care whether Argonians they sail are free or not. To live together, we must leave Morrowind. I see. Now, kiss me. As darkness approached, Sandrasa and Makes Many Ways began their journey, heading northwest towards the border with Skyrim. Is Riften safe? Makes Many Ways whispered. They travelled several days out of their way to shake off any possible followers. Before Sandrasa could speak, an arrow pierced her throat. She clutched at it with one hand, her eyes widened in surprise. More arrows flowed swiftly, killing the dark elf long before she sits to the ground. You're free now, said an Argonian archer, stepping from the shadows. Makes many waves, stared at him, unable to speak or move. Did she hurt you? he asked, coming in closer. You can return to Black Marsh now. You're no longer a slave. Collapsing across Sandras's body, makes many waves, bobbed. The Reels Journal. Fourth of Sun's Dawn. My latest research project involves plants. Or destination is better than shadow. There is something about this place. The moisture hanging in the air encourages so much growth. I am sure I find more species to study. Eighth of First Seed. I hate the rain. It's rained every day for the past month. The ground is saturated, making it impossible to do any meaningful field studies. Clearly, I chose the wrong time of year to come to Stormhold. On the bright side, I've had time to rearrange the guild hall to suit myself. Well, one room of it, at least. I've never had this much time or space to myself, especially after the incident at Davin's watch. I was so sure. Well, every researcher makes mistakes now and then. It is part of the process. Only second of first seed. It stopped raining at last. First of rain's hand. I have discovered a remarkable green lichen specimen on the spine of my lexicon of black marsh flora. Third of Rain's Hand. Wrote to the Archmage. Requested a new assignment, preferably one in the Alakia. I hope you've been enjoying these lore readings. And if you have, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks oh. for watching.